Yeah, yeah g'day Bush Camping Tour as well. Here we are in one of my favourite spots. We're heading up into the mountains. Got my young son with me, so got a lot of stuff on today. You know, in the tripod and everything else. So uh, the tent, everything. We're gonna be out here for several days and maybe looking for a bit of gold up in the hills or uh, some mushrooms and see what we can catch maybe. So, you know, let's get on with my help. has got the camera there. Give me the camera and we'll get going. All right, good on you. That's where we're going up there. That's very beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, okay, let's get moving. This is what happens when your kid is six years old and not strong enough to get to carry all their shit up the hill. Oh, it don't matter. At last. Stashed some wood under there last time. It's gone, of course. It's a long time ago. Anyway, this is it. Let's have a look for a second. Look at that. That's a nice bit of campground in here. Okay, oops. There's our stuff. Having a good time? Yeah. Okay, so this is the campsite. It's really, really nice. There's a whole stack of wild mint over here. This is all wild mint grown here. We can make mint tea, plenty of stuff for mint tea. There's the forest up there. And just a bit up here, we've got a creek here and the water's pretty good. I've drunk the water out of the creek before, but just a ways up here. Look at that there. That's really nice, huh? Uh, we've got, a stream it's coming from up here in the mountains to the left of us and this is really totally unpolluted water there and anyway we'll we'll filter that out but there it is you know just in there so yeah and that's up there in the conifers whoops it's sunny up there so there you go really nice Okay, so we're just pumping some water here. This is a small little creek running into the main one. And you can probably drink it straight away. I've done it before. And the water out of the creek down just behind in here. Anyway, it's just easier to do this and to boil it. I'm not worried about hepatitis coming out of here. Only things like protozoa. So this is more than good enough, this pump. Here's a boletus it's spent. Would have been good, but uh, it's too old now. Okay, I've chanced upon this. This is a stinkhorn that flies all over it. And because uh, they stink like, you know what, like shit. What was I walking with this before? This is because when you come across timber, the easiest way to do it is you can't carry it back in your hands. You just uh, do this and this, make a lark's head, and you can simply skull drag it back with you, all right, when you want to go back. And that's what we're going to do. We'll come back and get it in a bit. You see this here, just a lark's head around it, and that way you can drag it back to your camp. That's no problems. It's easier. Otherwise, it's too hard to carry it. We'll leave it here for the moment because we're going to come back. But a bit of rope or tape, it's excellent. Come on.
The juniper berries on here. Full of berries. It's very nice. That's the wildlife. It's now, uh, what time is it? Uh, ten past, five past seven in the evening. It's still quite nice and warm. He's just woken up, so he's got a coat on. It gets pretty cool up here in the mountains in the evenings. Anyway, it's got there. We're just getting a bit of tinder now. You can see this is a somewhat old, but not too old four-wheel drive track. People come around down in here to camp instead of walking. A bit lazy, there's our tent. Don't know whether you can see it down there. The covert too, and it's very covert. Hard to see, which is great. That's one of the reasons I liked getting it. Look at that. Man, is it really pretty out here. That is really, really, really pretty. And there's my little guy up there. Wave for the camera, mate. 